Hi, I just wanted to talk to you about G-Diapers and why I chose um, this brand for um, my kids. And just a heads up, my toddler is sitting over there, so if he talks, then that's him. <laughs> Anyways, so my son right now is in size large, and he is 18 months. Um, I think it could be just because he's a little um, chunky. My first son was in size large till he was around, um, I mean, he he was in mediums all the way until he was like 21, 22 months, and then he switched to size large. So it depends on your child's build. But anyways, this is um, this is the G diaper. It's, it's really cute. I, I think I picked it because of the style. It's, it's slim, it's not bulky, and it's very simple to use, um, especially if you're used to disposable. These are just easy. So this one's gray. Um, I have boys, so my diapers aren't as cute as my friend Hillary's. She has a girl, and so she gets all the cute um, ones with pink and ruffles and flowers. <laughs> Mine are all just boys, plain colors. <laughs> Anyways. So how it works is this is the front, um, the G is in the, in the back, and the, way, the reason why that is the case is because when you put the baby, when you put the baby um, down, you put the G on the butt, and then you put this over the stomach, and um, the flaps are Velcro, and you put them on just like this. And they do it this way so that the um, baby, it's harder for the baby to take off the diaper because it's in the back and versus the front. So that's a pretty cool and neat feature. It's harder for the kids to take the diaper off. The cool thing about these diapers is the inside is, is very easy to use. Like I've been saying, that's the theme of the G diapers. It's easy to use. Um, there's there's feet. The features include the the cover. This is the cover. It's just the the attractive part that people will see. And this is the waterproof pouch that holds the pee and the poop so that, you know, that's what makes the diaper. And this is the G brand insert. Um, so three parts, one diaper. You um, just, you snap these in, you get extra of these so that if the baby pees or pees too much and it's totally wet, then you can just unsnap it and put a new pouch in without changing the cover, um, which is very nice. Um, I use the cover, I use one cover a lot of times for one whole day versus changing the whole diaper every single time. Um, also, you can keep the same pouch in unless the baby poops like ridiculous on, on the pouch, then you would switch the pouch. But most of the day, honestly, the pee and poop is really just on here. And so you can just take the insert out and put a new insert in. That's how easy it is. So you don't even have to change the pouch or the cover, um, which makes life really simple and less laundry to do as well. So this is how it looks with the insert in. Um, I just, I just tucked them, tucked the insert in the pouch and so this is technically the diaper and this is the waterproof liner and this is the cover and um, when you put the diaper on the baby the important thing is to make sure that the, the cloth of the diaper is securely tucked into the pouch you want the pouch to be what's touching the skin, not the diaper. Because just like a sponge, um, if you get the tip of the sponge wet, then the whole sponge will be soaking in a matter of um, minutes. So the same thing with this, if the cloth diaper is sticking out, touching the clothes or the cover, then the pee will get the cover wet, which gets the clothes wet, and that's the whole thing about leaking. So you wanna make sure that the pouch is tucked securely over the diaper and that when you put it on you always check to make sure you can just see the, um, the pouch and not the diaper. Um, so that's 
that's their brand insert and I use these all the time. I love them. I use them a lot of times when I'm traveling or when I have a babysitter. It's easier for babysitters just to go use one thing um, or daycare or whatever. Just it's simpler to explain to people, oh just take this out, put a new one in. But when I I personally enjoy um, using prefolds, which are a lot less expensive. Um, a lot less. And I use generic. I know there's lots of nice brand prefolds, but I just, these I think are Babies R Us brand. And then Gerber has the same kind. I mean, they're so inexpensive and it comes with a big pack. Um, so these are the G brand and, and I definitely recommend having these in hand. They're great for if you run out of prefolds or if a babysitter or if you're on the go and you don't want to have to deal with folding. But the prefold, they're a lot less expensive and you get so much more for your money. And how these work is um, you can see that the, in, the middle is um, a little thicker and there's, there's a um, kind of like follow the lines right here which are from the sewing of the prefold. And what I do is I just fold it like a hot dog like that. See, so it's like a, a long. And um, I try to make it the same size as the G insert. So how I do that is I just I just kind of guesstimate and estimate and I um, just fold the top just a little like that so that it's longer than than the the the, in, the plastic part looks. Sorry. So so I fold it like this and I just fold the the top just a little bit, not not halfway, not a lot, and I put the folded part where the baby's um, front will be because that's where the most P is and you want more padding where the P will be. So I will put the folded part face down so that the smooth part is on the baby's skin. And the folded part, I'm going to put it where there's no G emblem because that's where the front will be. So I'm just going to tuck it in just like that. And it's longer so you kind of have to um, pull it and tug it to make it work and it's going to look kind of like scrunched just like that. It fills it completely and it's the same thing. Then you just do the same thing that you would do with the G diaper um, insert. You just, so you just put the baby's butt where the G is and then you put the baby, this over the baby's top and um, fold it in the back just like a regular diaper but from, but in the back and then again you want to make sure that the pouch is touching the skin not the diaper. So anyways, I use prefolds all the time. I think they're fabulous and um, you know, it's not a big deal if they rip or if there's stains or if anything happens to them because they're inexpensive. Versus the G diapers, they're obviously better quality. They're thicker, um, made with better fabrics, but they are expensive. So I definitely recommend getting a couple packs of these, but don't feel like you have to have like 35, like, you know, to fill your whole diaper. Um, but these, these are awesome. Like, I think I got like 36 of these or something and I just fill them in the diaper stacker. Um, I do the hot dog and I fold them over and just stick them in the diaper stacker like that. It's very simple. Anyways, so that's daily diaper diapering. Um, for nighttime, diapering. The G diaper works perfectly as well. No leaks unless the child drank like a bottle of apple juice right before bed. Then obviously they're going to leak. Um, I noticed with small G diapers and newborns, you're going to have to get up in the middle of the night and change a diaper. It's just going to happen. Babies are going to leak. They pee a lot. As simple as that. But once they're in mediums, which is normally around three months, um, they will fit into mediums then you can do this nighttime diaper trick and there'll be like no more leaking at night, which is awesome. So this is the prefold. Uh, this is another prefold. It's very generic. I got some Babies R Us. You can get it from Gerber too. It's the same thing. This is a six ply prefold. The other one I showed you is a three ply. So six ply is thicker, double the thickness of the regular one. And so, and it's the same thing. You can see the the lines of where the sewing is and um, and yes there will be stains on your diaper because that's what happens when you poop and pee on cloth there's gonna be stains <laughs> um, anyways I get a six ply and I get to the um, 
the G diaper insert that is the main brand and I put it on the middle where the fold is so it just follows that and then I just fold over the flaps so that it, it kind of copies the shape so I fold over the flaps and I fold over the top over the G diaper so it's kind of just copying the shape of the of the insert and then I do the same thing I put the padded part on the front where the baby will pee the most and then I tuck it in I scrunch it up tug at it tug at it to make it fit and it's and then I just put it on just like you would the regular diaper except it's like twice as thick three times as thick and um, the baby's belt will be padded for lots of pads on the butt to be fun um, it looks kind of cute when they're padded but this works like a charm again you stick it on um, nothing in the front is the front and the G is the butt and you and the Velcro goes to the back. So you put this on, you make sure that the cloth is not sticking on the skin. You want to make sure that this is over and you tuck it in all the way so that the plastic is the only thing seeing and then you can just cover the plastic with the cover. And then there you go. This is the nighttime G diaper that I use. Um, I made it up, so but definitely it works like a charm. It's awesome. And um, one more thing that I do with another little trick that I use is when I'm going out and about, I know I said that you can use these and you can, I notice that you have to change diaper every two hours no matter what you use besides the nighttime. Um, the pre, the three ply pre-fold and this, it lasts about the same time, two hours, which is normal. You want to change the diaper because the baby's peeing or pooping, you know, even if it's peeing, you don't want to just... I know some people complained that and that you have to change the diaper too much with cloth diapering. And I don't think that's the case. I think every two hours is um, pretty normal. Um, again, size small and newborn, you have to change probably more frequently than two hours just because they pee a lot. Um, anyways, how I do when I'm going out to the mall or to the park or to a friend's house, I don't want to have to deal with, oh, shoot, I have to change diaper. and put the diaper in, um, you know, my bag, and, I, you know, I just don't want to do that. I'd rather wait till I get home, or have longer periods of changing the diaper when I'm out and about, and I know it's, obviously, a few poops, I would change them, but when it's just normal peeing and he's having fun, I don't want to change them, like, right like, all the time when I'm out and not home. It's not comfortable. So what I do is I get the three-ply, and I do the same thing like the nighttime, except I use the three ply and not the six ply, which makes it a lot less thick. And it doesn't last as long, obviously. And I do the same thing. I get the G, G diaper and I put it on top of the, the pre-fold and I fold it over to cover the shape. And then um, I fold it over so that it copies the shape. And I put the thicker part where the P will be in the front. And I make the smooth part right here, the, the smooth part on the baby skin, the folded part on the face of the diaper. And I just tug, fold, make it work so that it fits in the pouch, just like that. And it is thicker than just a regular um, insert or just a regular um, pre-fold because it's, it's actually not thick at all when you just use the regular insert or just one three-ply. But this is thicker, N not as thick as nighttime, but it is thicker. But it's um, it still fits in all of his jeans, and it fits in all of his um, pants. And um, it, it, the thickness for any of these doesn't make his clothes not fit. So that's cool. Anyways, this I noticed lasts a little more than two hours, like three or four if he's not really that wet. But like, it's it's more comfortable for me to go out and knowing that he has this. A little bit more padding on when I go to church I drop them off I don't have to worry about them having problems with changing him or if I go you know to the store I don't have to worry about changing him at the grocery store because it's a little thicker it lasts a little longer so anyways that's that's the um, different ways you can use a G diaper very simple and again if he pees simply just pull the insert out put the new one in um, and you can do that all day until until you feel that yeah. the pouch, yeah, yeah, it's a truck. And you feel like the pouch is is either too wet, like ridiculous, or or um, there's so much poop, 
you know, or this poop in general on the pouch, then you can just unsnap these and put a new pouch in and you can keep the cover. Um, very versatile. Or or you can just redo the whole thing and get a whole new um, G cover and pouch and everything. So it's great. I love it. And um, definitely recommend G diapers. And if you have any more questions about it, then definitely comment and um, me and my friend Hillary will try our best to, to um, answer your questions. Okay, thanks for listening.